Gold prices taking a bit of a breather today. Yes, they were higher, and yes, we did see a quite a wider than typical range. But looking back at last week, we saw gold prices spike as high as almost 1980, only to pull back about 100 bucks and then kind of tread water before we start moving higher again. Now they are resuming the trend that we saw prior to that big spike higher last week. But again, we have a lot of ground to cover between where we're go where we are and where we potentially uh, might be matching those highs. Currently standing just north of 1900. Today we got as high as 1930, but again, well off those highs we saw from last week. Uh, a lot of that having to do with, with, the, with the price action we're seeing in risk assets. Yes, equities are kind of the lead driver there. You watch equities go up and that's what sort of drove gold, drove gold prices lower after an equities had initially declined big time. And that's when we saw gold prices moving higher. A lot of uh, risks out there. Uh, but one of the, the main drivers that we talk about with gold, all these other geopolitical risks aside, we look at the dollar, we look at treasury yields, and we look at cryptocurrencies. And today we saw the dollar actually moving higher. It ended off its highs, which kind of helped gold prices move up. Uh, Bitcoin has seen a huge bounce off its lows, and that not really having the historical effect that we're typical, typically used to. And treasury yields were declining, declining again today. We saw the mix of that last week. We saw yields going up and down throughout the week. Uh, so again, some of that may not be directly correlated to the gold price action that we're seeing, but on the bigger picture, taking a step back, those are the three obstacles that we talked to about higher gold prices, higher dollar, higher treasury yields, and higher crypto. Today, two out of three of those didn't stop gold prices from moving higher. Again, slightly higher today, but we did see a big move overnight up to 1930, and during the rest of the session, we saw a pullback closer to 1900. Now, what does this all mean for volatility? Well, if you check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com, you will notice Back on February 10th, we saw a big move higher. Those were those bullard comments talking about the possibility of more aggressive Fed action. Uh, typically, a more aggressive Fed would see gold prices move lower, but at this point, gold prices have been all over the map, but we did see a big spike in volatility, and that elevated level remains, given the fact that not only do we have central bank risks uh, in the market, we also, have, uh, we also have economic risks, and then all those geopolitical risks continues to kind of hover over the market like a wet blanket, keeping gold prices elevated, keeping bidders in there. Uh, gold, obviously a natural hedge to not only risk assets, but the un uncertainty and the unknown of where these markets and where this world is going, at least in the short term. Lastly, let's look at the positioning. What are those speculators doing? Well, typically as gold prices move higher, it's a pretty easy, I uh, guess, to suggest that they might be adding to their longs. That's exactly what they're doing. At least prior to the big move we saw last week, we saw speculators continuing to add to their moves. They're the longest they've been since the middle of November of 2021. So despite the fact that all this talk of Federal Reserve and higher rates, speculators have been continuing to add to their gold longs, maybe a natural hedge against the Federal Reserve uh, and any other uh, uncertainties out there. Uh, we continue to see gold prices trending higher uh, and speculators continue to stay long. Now, it will be interesting to see this Friday when we get to the CFTC numbers, what really happened on Thursday and Friday of last week. Remember, we got, as I mentioned, we had that big move up to 1980 in gold prices and then immediate reversal the same day all the way down to 1878. So it will be interesting to see if we saw any speculators getting out or if there was maybe, maybe a zero difference given the fact that they may have sold those highs and then bought those lows. But again, we won't have that information until Friday. So opening up the week, a lot of uncertainty out there, not just geopolitical, but a lot of Fed uncertainty with Fed Chair Powell speaking to the Congress this week about his, with his semi-annual testimony to Congress. Uh, gold prices remain elevated and moving higher north of 1900.